Welcome back to this Red Dead Redemption 2 series. This will be part 32. And as always, hope you guys enjoy. So these next couple of missions are going to be in this big city. So I'm trying to like not stand out as much. So I'm going to put on some like, I don't know, nicer looking clothes. Probably won't work. I mean, I don't really have anything that's like nice or anything. But I don't know. Just, just, just a thought. Time to do my good deed of the day. I got away, but they got my wife. Please, mister. You gotta do something. All right. Where is she? It's a sack out in the swamp by the water. <laughs> okay. Go on. See if you can find the law. I'll do what I can. Uh, I go about finding more help. Get away from her, dead eye, headshot, dead eye, headshot. There you go. Damn, I just blew the head straight off. You see that? You all right, ma'am? Oh, please, God, unbind me. Sorry, I weren't here sooner. Oh, at least I get free money now. I mean, damn, his head's just gone. Jesus. Ew. Man. I mean, I guess the side of shotgun to the face point play kind of does that, but... Okay. There's some money I put away in the sack there. It ain't enough, but please take it. Okay. That's another reason to do these little side missions. You should get paid most of them. Appreciate it. Good luck to you. Fifty dollars. Not too bad. I'm also going to uh, stop at the barber shop because my hair is just getting way too long. It's in the new city. Time to get a little nice short haircut. So in the end, I looked at all the other hairstyles and. I think I don't really like him that much, so I'm just gonna go with the shorter trim. Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here in on. Well, so much you're trying to fit in. They're all looking at me. They're looking at me like I'm an alien. <laughs> Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told them, I say, that's the state of Le Moine for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> and that's why we love it. Born and raised. Ooh. Hey, can I get well, a drink here? I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> Every year they say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they lucky to have us. If it wasn't for us, they'd probably have run back to Britain with the tails between their legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that right. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Sure. That's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourselves. 
Well, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, friend. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, friend. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how I get. It's really become quite the craze. So you just walk up to any man with a ring on his finger and turn it three times? Hi there. Have you seen any kids around here? Oh, yeah. Just through that archway there. Hey. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? How old are you? Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What old cost? I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, wow, I'm really getting finessed by an eight-year-old. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, you little pair of shits. Oh, what? He took all my money. No way. Nah, I'm shooting him. Get back. It won't let me shoot him? Oh, my goodness. Ah, I guess I'll have to chase him. Come on, I know I'm faster than this. No, 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 cut him off. Cut him off the train. Come on, grab him. Grab him. Come on, grab him. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Oh, I wouldn't let me grab onto the freaking rail. I really hope this monorail does go too far. Alright, good. It's turning. I can try to come off of you. Actually, I'm not, I'm not that fast. I kind of want to like steal a guy's horse, but I don't want to get a bounty. I don't want to get wanted. I'm gonna try to have the cops chase me as well. Thank you, kind sir. Oh, there he is. He's just hiding behind the wall. How's my guy not faster than this? Well, at least I'm not the only one that doesn't like this kid. Oh, you think this kid's gonna stop me? Well, you're right. Oh, we're going upstairs now. There you are. Why can't I just grab him? Like, he's literally within arm's reach. I better not fall off this roof, that'd be embarrassing. Probably spend on cigarettes. White trash. Back to another alley. Well, this place is definitely a lot larger than the last place I had to search this kid. 
This might take a little while. I'm telling you, a cucumber is definitely a fruit. Since when? Since forever. I read in the newspaper. Oh, that must be true. Oh, there he is. Oh my goodness. Why didn't someone put a wet floor sign down there? I'm suing. Gee, that kid's probably long gone by now after that little tumble. Oh, never mind. It's just chilling right there. See, this kid's stupid. Why doesn't he just keep running? Why do all these 11 year olds have guns? I ain't your friend. But that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Ah. Oh. Come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> You don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. Well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. Well, at least I got my money back and the location of this guy's house. Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Okay, I'm going to end this video right here. Hope you guys enjoyed, and make sure to hit that like button.